Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're talking to Ravi Sarogi, who is the co-founder and president at Unifor. Ravi joins us today to discuss conversational automation technology and how it can impact the way that an enterprise works. That's coming along, Ravi, and welcome to the jam. Thank you, Mitchell, for having me on your show. Fantastic. Um, can you just start off by telling us a little bit about Unifor, how did it start, what does the company do, and how long have you guys been around? So, Mitchell, Unifor has existed since 2008. Uh, we are a deep tech early leader in conversational automation with our offices in North America, Europe, and in Asia, including Australia. Uh, Unifor enables business transformation using voice, video, AI, and automation all coming in together in the form of a platform, which we call conversation automation platform. Our vision is to disrupt an outdated customer service model by bridging the gap between human and machine using voice, AI, and automation to ensure that every voice on every call is truly heard and understood properly. On February 16th, which is day before yesterday, we raised our largest funding round of $400 million, uh, taking total, our total funding to $610 million, with now as a company being valued at $2.5 billion, present in 15 plus countries and uh, growing at a crisp, crisp pace. Fantastic, congratulations on that funding. Um, you're announcing also some new partnerships at present. Can you tell us about the company's go-to-market strategy here and, and how these partnerships kind of fit in with that? Well, Mitchell, we have set our sights uh, on the Australia New Zealand market in 2020, I mean, 2022, right? And we began the process of finding, you know, dynamic partners capable of helping us drive our agenda here in the market. And we will soon announce three partnerships uh, with the local integrators. And these are all uh, partnerships that, uh, or these are all partners who have been established in the market, have done incredible work uh, in, the, in the local markets and have great connects uh, with their existing customers. We're also looking to expand our network of partners in the region across Asia, including Australia. Um, and Unifor recently announced a global partner program, which we call Unifor Unite. Uh, this gives us a platform to work more closely with our partners, giving them tools that they need to be successful and in turn help drive our success in the region. End of the day, Michelle, uh, we will be successful only if our partners are successful and that's what we are driving for. Fantastic. And what sort of customers are you working with in, in our region? Any particular industries that are needing conversational AI at present? Well, uh, we are targeting large enterprises. And that's been the forte of Unifor uh, across industries such as banking and financial services, uh, which is BFSI, retail and e-commerce, uh, cab hailing services, telecom, airlines, FMCG, uh, energy, utilities. Basically, any large enterprise which has a contact center uh, can use uh, Unifor's products to its, to its benefits. Now, enterprises in these industries need technology uh, that can bring in massive upgrades uh, in how they function today, right? They need faster and more efficient customer service. And end of the day, their end customers, much like most customers today, want instant gratification, uh, which in this case means lower call hold times. And we have gone through our challenges, especially during COVID, when we have been waiting for multiple minutes, multiple hours on the calls for someone to answer. Uh, we also need to ensure that when the agent comes on a call, we get accurate, and relevant information to aid our decision-making alongside ensuring that all the issues are resolved in the first call itself. So Unifor's product are today capable of covering all those aspects. Uh, brands also want to use, you know, easy to deploy technology that does not require too much time to get it up and running. Uh, and that is something that being a, a service provider in our space, which can operate on-prem, which can operate on cloud has predefined models becomes much easier. And Unifor is today pay, poised to, to best serve these customers because we have our own conversational automation platform specifically for the customer experience industry, right? We understand the industry pain points and address them by designing innovative solutions using emerging technology. And our technology is fruit of many years of R&D that uh, the company has put together and also executed some strategic acquisitions on the way like 
Emotion Research Lab on the video AI space, which we acquired in Spain, or Jakarta, uh, which is uh, RPA and contact center technology that we acquired uh, out of Israel. Uh, we are one of the few companies, Michel, uh, globally who can deliver conversational AI in 100 plus global languages today, which is a big, big differentiating factor for us. That's awesome. Um, and going back to kind of a more broad scope in terms of the pandemic, how has that shaped the way companies have um, worked through in this space? Well, uh, multiple things have changed in our lives since the onset uh, of, of COVID, right? And the pandemic has really uh, put forward uh, a new sort of thought process within large enterprises on how they operate. Now, there are four broad challenges that our markets are facing, not only in one region, but globally. And if you look at four of, of, of those challenges, right, the first one is uh, the great resignation, right, which has been a place of spotlight, uh, especially when it comes to agent experience, uh, that is uh, an impact that organizations are going through. Now, as the pandemic wears on, right, Australian professionals, and these are some of the surveys that we've executed, are reassessing their working conditions, right? In 2021, 85% of the workers reported that their well being has declined through, throughout the lockdowns, while 40% of the professionals claims that you know, they had been looking for a new job in the next six months, with 15% already actively looking to leave their current position. Now, with Australian professionals in a state of flux and mental health burdens weighing heavy, you know, look at what an agent is going through. An agent experience must be the front and center of 2022 today in order to retain and attract that kind of a talent as well, right? The market is not uh, massive, massively poised with such kind of talent. So you need to ensure that you have the right agent mix and uh, enable them with the right tools so that they can deliver to the customer in a big way. Second, uh, Australia is increasingly uh, increasingly outsourcing onshore now, right? Since the start of the pandemic, many of the nations uh, which Australian businesses formerly relied on for their contacts into staff uh, struggled to mobilize during lockdowns. And as a result, many Australian businesses today are reverse outsourcing or basically bringing in the outsourcing activities back on shore, right? This is a trend that has proven popular with customers and is expected to continue. I don't think there is a, there is a stop there. I mean, with Telstra, Australia's largest telco provider, committing to having all inbound customer service being handled from Australia itself by 2022, uh, leaving on offshore service providers to manage digital interactions only. Now, for small businesses, offshoring has been a long question of survival, but it is a growing concern in consumers who want to speak to a local. Now, as jobs are coming back from offshore to onshore, it is obviously going to have a cost impact on these large enterprises. That's where uh, you want to do more with less. And if you want to do more with less, you need automation. You need some of those roles to be played by AI and support those agents to really being optimal and deliver the best of experiences. And that's where we come to the picture. The third would be a gap in the market for you know, multilingual contact center work. Now, fortunately for Australian market at least, right? Uh, that is not a biggest challenge because most of the market is, is dependent on the Australian English language. But despite our all trends of you know, onshore outsourcing, 30% of the Australians speak a language other than English at home, uh, leaving a significant gap in the market especially in comes to multilingual contact centers and effective translation software. So even those jobs continue to remain out, 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 outside the, the market. And then um, the final thing that uh, would be top of my mind would be omnichannel uh, is still untapped. You know, as a consumer today, I am uh, looking to reach out to my enterprise to solve my query complaints or requests. And I can today choose any channel, but unfortunately it is still an untapped situation. Despite 95% of the customers using more than one channel to communicate with businesses, omni-channel customer experience is still a challenge, right? Many organizations are struggling to overcome. And one of the ways to execute that is to not look at products which are independently functioning. And then you have a massive task of bringing all that information of customer interaction under one hood, but take an alternate approach. And the alternate approach can be that take a platform-based approach, take one platform, which has multiple such products coming in together where information is seamlessly flowing one product to another or one interaction to another without customer even knowing that you're they're talking to different systems altogether. And that's where a lot of combination of AI, automation, backend automation, RPA 
can coming together and deliver the best of experiences. Definitely. Yes, it seems that uh, Unifor is definitely helping fill that gap in, in the market there. Um, so just to kind of finalize and finish off, if someone wanted to get in touch with Unifor about um, the services, how would they get in touch with you guys? Well, the best way to go to unifor.com and check us up, uh, go to our LinkedIn pages. Most importantly, uh, we have a great knowledge center on our website, which will help people understand different use cases, uh, different case studies, uh, different uh, uh, executions that we have done. Today, Unifor has uh, have enterprise customers across the globe with more than 150 odd enterprise customers that we are serving today globally across different verticals. And across each one of them, we have some tremendous use cases and success stories. And one can easily go to unifor.com and then fetch out that information. Well, very exciting. Thank you so much for joining us today, Ravi. And uh, we look forward to hearing more from Unifor in the future. Well, thank you so much, Michelle, for having me on your show today.